Hi everyone, I'm Sumin Kim from Seoul National University of Korea. In this video, I'm going to present our research on human-AI interaction. In particular, we aim to understand how various stakeholders interact with each other in tricking algorithms with a case study of Airbnb review community. People interact with algorithms in various ways. Users utilize algorithms as AI has increasingly found its way into our daily lives. Furthermore, users attempt to actively engage with such algorithms by reasoning and reverse engineering them. Recent examples have made it clear that users even game and circumvent algorithms so as to achieve favorable outcomes. Representative example of gaming algorithm is the China's Me Too movement. Chinese netizens constantly devise code words for freedom of expression in an effort to avoid political and algorithmic censorship. The words Rice Bunny are pronounced as Me Too in Mandarin, giving Chinese users a means to evade censors when discussing sexual harassment issues. Users also game translation algorithms in global peer-to-peer -peer review platforms. Machine translation algorithms enable communication across language barriers and are applied in a wide range of peer-to-peer -peer platforms. However, recent cases have shown that a number of users write machine known translatable reviews in order to deceive hosts or business owners. This phenomenon happens in diverse global peer-to-peer -peer platforms. Figure A illustrates an example of the machine known translatable review and the host response in Google Places platform. The machine known translatable content is highlighted in red. Both reviews in B and C include identical content of the highlighted part in A. Although these user interaction patterns of gaming and tricking AI-infused systems are emerging, there has been insufficient discussion about the why and how users trick the translation algorithms that were initially developed to improve interpersonal communication. Therefore, this study aims to explore the aspects surrounding interactions in which users trick algorithms, featuring a primary focus on peer-to-peer -peer review communities, especially with the case of Airbnb. We investigated a case in which users write reviews in such a way where the translation algorithm is unable to interpret. Furthermore, we discuss the potential implications of this for future interfaces found in online peer-to-peer -peer communities. In order to understand users' behavior of gaming and tricking the system, we propose to include diverse stakeholders around the algorithm. We defined five main stakeholders. First, the reviewer. The reviewer is an information provider who writes reviews based on their own experience. Some users devise strategies to avoid censorship and encrypt messages by circumventing the translation algorithm. Second, foreign host. The host provides the services and interacts with the algorithm's reviewers and potential customers. They read and manage reviews written in foreign languages with the help of translation algorithms. Third, Potential customer. The potential customer is an information consumer who makes decisions based on information posted by the host, host and the reviews written by the reviewers. Fourth, algorithms. Two main algorithms work in online review platforms, a review creation algorithm and a content translation algorithm. This study focuses on translation algorithms. Translation algorithm supports users and hosts to communicate and exchange information regardless of nationality and language. Finally, company or platform. Company is the stakeholder who runs the review platforms. From the perspective of the company operating the platform, it is important to manage and moderate user-generated content. Under this research context, we would like to address the following research questions. 
we employed a mixed method approach in order to explore how and why users write machine non-translatable reviews as well as how those encrypted messages are perceived by those receiving them. In study one, we tried to investigate reviewers' underlying motivations for tricking and deceiving the translation algorithm. We conducted in-depth interviews to understand users' motivations for gaming algorithms. Fourteen participants who had experience in writing reviews aimed at deceiving machine translation algorithms were interviewed. Through the analysis, we identified four categories of users' motivation for writing machine non-translatable reviews. Users trick the translation al algorithm in online reviewing communities in order to avoid censorship, to reduce interpersonal burden, to protect privacy, and to provide authentic information with the goal of creating sincere review communities. In the second study, we aim to explore the strategies used to trick and circumvent machine translation algorithms. This process allowed us to infer users' heuristics concerning how translation and moderation algorithms operate and how they circumvent these algorithms. We classified users' writing strategies in order to trick translation algorithms based on 87 actual reviews. As a result, we identified five social linguistic strategies that are applied by users to trick translation algorithms. These are morphological, morphophonological, optical, semantics, and mixed tricks. For detailed information, please refer to our paper. To summarize study 1 and 2, we identified why and how users trick translation algorithms. Then, how do users perceive the encrypted reviews? To investigate this research question, we conducted study 3. Study 3 aims to investigate how users or potential customers perceive encrypted messages. It was found that potential customers perceive the encrypted machine non-translatable review containing negative information to be less informative, though more trustworthy and authentic. Based on these findings, we could drive implications for how we should design global review services and translation algorithms. We should consider the interactions around the model to understand human algorithmic interaction. We found that while it seems that gaming occurs as a dyadic interaction between a user and the algorithm at the surface level, this game premises an implicit social context where diverse stakeholders interact. By analyzing a broad set of stakeholders around the algorithms, we can comprehensively understand the social context around the algorithmic system. Our results also call for a discussion of revised design considerations for the online review community and interface. First, we can consider introducing an anonymous evaluation to ensure that reviewers do not reveal their identity. This will allow them to become more proactive and to leave candid reviews without worrying about their relationships with the host and their reputations. Of course, potential side effects that may arise from anonymous evaluation should also be addressed. Second, it is necessary to introduce more fine-grained and multi-dimensional rating systems. Users need to be required to evaluate each of the housing sub-attributes, and this data will provide other users a more objective assessment of the accommodation. Our typology from study 2 can contribute to the field of online content moderation by providing human, social, and linguistic heuristics of evading natural language processing algorithms. We believe that the human-based heuristics and user-generated examples can help to develop more robust translation and moderation algorithms. Integrating human knowledge or mental model in the machine learning loop can positively influence machine intelligence.